Hi everyone, welcome back. Let us now explore the electric forces between charged objects and electric fields around charged objects. In the previous video, we discussed that there exists an electric force between charged objects. And this electric force is given by Coulomb's law. Now, Coulomb's law states that the electric force between charged objects is directly proportional to the product of the magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to the square distance between them. Mathematically, this is given as F is equal to K, Q1, Q2 over R squared, where R is the distance between the charges, Q1 and Q2 are the charges, and K is the Coulomb constant, given as k is equal to 9 times 10 power 9 newton meter squared per coulomb squared now an electric charge creates an electric field around it this electric field is a region around a charged object or a charged particle where an electric force can be detected. This electric field is represented by field lines and these field lines start from the positive charges and terminate on negative charges. For example, let's say we have a metal plate which is positively charged and another metal plate which is negatively charged. The electric field between these two charged plates is shown using field lines like this. Where E is the electric field. This electric field is given as E is equal to K Q over R squared. Where Q is the charge that is creating or producing this electric field. Okay. And R is a particular point from the charge to this point. Now, this electric field is a vector field and represents the force a charge would experience per unit charge at any point in space. It represents a force that a charge would experience per unit of that charge at any point in a space. So we can also express electric field as E is equal to the electric force experience per unit charge. If we make F the subject there, then we have electric force is equal to the charge place at a particular point in a field which is F is equals to Q multiplied by electric field. Now let us have one example. Let us look at one example. So two charges 5 coulombs and 15 coulombs are separated by a distance 10 centimeters. What is the force between them. So to get a force, we use the formula F is equals to K Q1 Q2 over R squared. Now K is 9 times 10 power 9. Q1 
is 5 and q2 is 15. The separation distance is 10 centimeters, converting that to meters, we have 0 0.1 squared. So we are saying we rate Q1 be 5 coulombs, then Q2 be 15 coulombs, and R is 10 centimeters which is converted to meters as 0 0.1 meter. Solving for force, solving for force there, you have a calculator, please grab it and try to compute. So we'll have 6.75 times 10 power 13 newtons as the force. You can confirm that, please. Okay. So we can confirm this. We can confirm this also using the formula for electric field. Okay. So let me say method two method two if this here is a method one if this here is method one then let us try to prove it using the formula for electric field so electric field let us say electric field due to q1 okay is e equal to k q1 over r squared this will give us e equal to 9 times 10 power 9 Q1 is 5 coulombs. The separation distance is 0 0.1 squared. So let us try to compute that. We'll have 4.5 times 10 times 10 power. What is times 10? Times 10 power 12. newtons per coulomb so a charge placed at 0 0.1 meter from q1 would experience that force per unit okay which is 4.5 times 10 power 12 newtons per coulomb okay you can confirm that you have the calculator confirm that please so that we are uh, on the same page confirm that please so that we are on the same page so we have the electric field now let us solve for force using this formula here the other formula here which is this one here let us try to solve for force now and that charge 2 would experience so this f is equal to q which will be now this q is q2 times the electric field produced by q1 this would give us 15 multiplied by the electric field which is 4.5 times 10 power 12 this will give us 6.75 times 10 power 13 
newtons. So this proves that Q1 is exerting a force of 6.75 exponent 13 newtons on Q2. Q2 is also exerting the same magnitude of force on Q1. And that's how we compute for the force of the electric field. We've proved it using the Coulomb's law, also using the formula for the definition of electric field.